I'm speaking with Monica de Zelaya, who is the Director of Business Administration at a university in Guatemala that specializes in studying principles of freedom. Monica, what do you mean by principles of freedom? Well, in these countries like Latin America, you have to be aware of uh, freedom principles in your everyday society, and they are always att everybody is attempting against them. So y we have to take care of them. You so mean like if you say something the government doesn't like, they put you in jail? Uh, well, not necessarily, but sometimes they uh, build up rules or laws that limit freedom from persons, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes that will keep us away from developing faster. So we need to be sure that the rule of law helps entrepreneurs, helps uh, job creation, helps companies grow, and the country to develop and create growth. Can you give an example of a type of law that prohibits growth? Uh, well, sometimes trade law. I mean, you are supposedly protecting your home industries, but sometimes if you are protecting them, you are not helping them to innovate and be uh, have the world, world standards. Now we talk about freedom, like some employers might say, I want the freedom to pay my employees as little as they're willing to accept. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have laws that say that you can't pay people less than a certain amount. Mm -hmm. So is the employer's freedom being impinged upon? And if so, is it worth it as a trade-off? Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a deep topic. I mean, we, we would take many programs to discuss about that. <laughs> but the, the thing is, um, if, if there's working a lot of um, different companies around the area and everybody's growing there and the market economy is working around, then uh, there's competition for talent. So talented people will have different opportunities where they can push. And if you are a good company, are looking for talent and growing, and then you would like to keep them. What are the problems that you think have to be overcome in a country like Guatemala? Mm, well, I think that definitely one of the problems is to have an environment that fosters entrepreneurship. Um, our culture um, is naturally, I mean, Guatemalans are entrepreneurs. If you have had the opportunity to meet one, I mean, all of the Guatemalans have this spirit of being entrepreneur. Uh, but the environment just like plugs them away. I mean, it's difficult to get through uh, loss and insecurity and many of these things that uh, makes tougher the process of growing. And well, I have been involved in several research that where we compare with other countries in the world, and what we have seen is that um, in other countries you have a great idea, like here in Silicon Valley, uh, everything helps you to grow and to have harvest on that idea. In these other countries, it's the other way around. I mean, you have a great idea and you have to fight against everything in order to succeed, <laughs> and. And that's sad because at, at, at the end we need more opportunities to grow and to generate more investment, savings, and jobs. Do all sectors of Guatemala recognize the importance of education? Is that mm -hmm. something that is universally provided essentially mm -hmm. for free? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I think a yes and no. Um, people that have had opportunity to have access to education values education apps as the only way to get prepared for future challenges. But very poor people, it's tough to make that decision. Um, in the university, we have some scholarship programs, one that is called ITA program. It's a very successful program. Um, and for many of these kids, the most important thing was once when they were little to convince their parents that they want to go to school instead of working with them in the fields. Mm. And that is tough. I mean, and some of them really have to fight for having that opportunity to learn. Now, what has to happen in this conference for you to feel that it was a success for you, that you mm -hmm. got out of it what you wanted? Mm -hmm. Well, I feel it's a success. First of all, to have all these type of people together, discussing with uh, different persons from different cultures and from different perspectives, um, I think it's powerful. Actually, the conference is very interesting because it is a way of discovering new ways of generating growth, new ways of creating jobs, but because when you are talking about creating jobs, you have to be clear that jobs are created by companies and business people and entrepreneurs. 